Hey guys, Susie here. Thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm doing a video that was requested um, not too long ago. I did a uh, my top five favorite colognes on a man video, and a lot of you guys loved it. Um, there was a lot of people that gave me a lot of grief. Uh, a lot of people that said that they didn't agree with my selections. And I really like to hear people's opinions. I mean, I like to hear, um, you know, if you have an opinion of something that I think uh, smells really good or that I should tell my husband about. So basically I did um, the video because my husband is really big into cologne. He loves clones. Um, he loves collecting clones. He hasn't been doing it for very long. So his collection is still kind of growing, but he does have quite a lot of designer fragrances. And I did include five of those in my five favorite um, colognes on a man that I like to smell on him. And my husband said, you know what, you need to do a uh, my five that I don't like. So I'm calling this my five least favorite colognes on a man video. And I know I'm going to get a lot of crap. Uh, for choosing some of these selections by people that like these selections. So in no way am I trying to offend anybody or saying that these are like terrible smells or terrible fragrances that should not be bought um, because everybody has their own you know, opinion of fragrances. Everybody smells differently. Um, something that I think smells good is something that somebody else might think smells terrible and something somebody's you know smells that might they might think it smells terrible I might think it smells wonderful so everybody's sense of smell is different and I just want to put that out there um, if you know if you disagree and you want to critic you know constructively uh, criticize my choices that's perfectly fine um, but let's not be a little too nasty here um, because I am allowed to have a opinion on what I think smells good and what doesn't just like everybody else so um, I'm going to start off uh, my first least favorite and this isn't really one in particular. This is actually like an entire line of fragrances that I just don't like. And I know a lot of people out there are going to say, what? How do you not like that? He's like the best. He's like the, uh, you know, the Cl Christopher Columbus of, of Cologne world and he, you know, makes the greatest, um, fragrances ever and you know he's such a awesome designer okay so I'm talking about the Amen or Angel Men um, series of colognes and fragrances by Terry Mugler um, I'm not a Terry Mugler fan I'm not a fan of his perfumes I'm not a fan of much of anything of his and I'm definitely not a fan of his colognes and my husband loves Terry Mugler um, and his line of colognes. He has uh, the Pure Malt. He's got the original Amen. He's got Pure Havan or whatever it's called. Um, he's got the Ultra Zest. Uh, I think he might have another. I, I really don't know. He wants to collect them all. He loves them. The one I'm holding up is Pure Malt and I absolutely don't like it. Um, this is coming from a woman this is not a manly smelling fragrance to me at all. Um, it just doesn't smell like a man to me. Um, it's very, very sweet and it just has a really overpowering scent to it. Um, I mean, it literally gives me a headache when he wears this and I don't know if he's spraying too much or I think it's just the fragrance in general because even when he sprays a little, I just don't like it. Um, it's not that it's a terrible fragrance. There's other people that have smelled it and liked it. My mom thinks it smells good on him. I just don't like it. It's not my type of fragrance. It's sweet. It's just got just I don't know. I just don't like it. It smells to me more like like something you would buy and use as an air freshener in your house. You know something like that. I, I, I don't know. I can definitely kind of smell a little bit of like the alcohol type smell because this is supposed to smell like pure malt or like malt liquor or whatever I guess. Um, I just I just don't like it. Um, I don't like any of them. Uh, Ultra Zest was okay. It was like okay. Um, but one of the main reasons also why I don't like them, not only because they're overpowering and not only because they all kind of seem to smell the same to me other than when you first spray them. I don't know. When they dry down, they all smell the same to me. They all smell like the original Amen, except for this one, because this one is overpowering as hell. 
and all the other ones, Ultra Zest, you spray it after like half the day, it starts smelling like the original Amen. I just don't like them. So, I mean, I'm sorry to offend a bunch of people, but I don't like them. I'm sorry to offend the Terry Mugler community uh, on YouTube, but I'm just not a fan of these. I'm not saying they're terrible. Um, some people probably really love these scents. I just don't like them. I don't think they smell manly at all, and I just... I don't like it on him, and he loves it. I mean, he's like, I don't care what you say. I'm going to wear it anyway. Well, that's fine, but I just don't like it. Uh, my second least favorite is probably got to be, this is an old, old cologne, and this is the Escada, the original Escada, and, you know, at first I kind of liked it, but now I'm not, I'm not big on it. Um, I mean, as you can see, he's obviously not a huge fan either. He hasn't used much of it. It just has a, I don't know, I mean, it's nice, but like the, I don't know. It just kind of has that old timey man smell. Not like an old man smell, but like old timey cologne smell. Like something you would smell way back in the day that men used to splash on, you know, that type of smell. It's not a bad smell. Um, I think it's a little too mature for him, you know, because he's only in his 30s. And I feel like this is more suited for like a 50 year old man or so I mean I'm not even really sure why he has this or why we bought it or where it came from I don't know but I just don't like it um original Escada and to be honest I'm not a big fan of any of the Escada fragrances um, I used to have a few actually and they just they fade really quickly and they start to smell funny really quickly even when you keep them locked away they just start to smell funny I don't know what it is I don't know I guess they're cheap or something I don't know, but I don't like that one. Uh, number three would probably have to be the Polo Blue. This is a classic, um, one of my husband's favorites, but it's not one of my favorites. I mean, it's okay. Like, sometimes it smells good, and sometimes it doesn't smell good. I think it's more of a, um, like, maybe a winter fragrance or something. I don't know. It doesn't smell very good when you're sweating a lot to me, so maybe better suited for winter than for summer. Um, he loves it. He says it's a classic. I'm just not big on it. I mean, it's okay. Like, you know, I, I can stand it. That's why it's kind of in the middle. It's not my, like, least favorite, but I'm not, like, thrilled about it. It does smell manly, and it does have a pretty nice look, like, casual, fresh smell. But, I don't know, it's nothing about it says, like, I am attractive, I am a sexy man. Um, it just kind of says nothing to me. Number four, I'm going to say, is Clinique Happy for Men. Um, this is de also kind of an oldie, and, you know, it's, it's just, eh, it's mediocre, I mean... That's the best way to put it. It's got that really light, citrusy, fresh smell to it. And it is nice for like a splash if, you know, you're going out like to the gym or you're just going somewhere kind of casual picnic or something. But it's just too casual. It's too light. Um, I don't even think it lasts very long when he wore it. And I mean, it's okay, but it's nothing spectacular. It's just your average run-of-the-mill citrus fresh cologne. That's about all I got to say about that. And I'm trying to hurry up because it's getting dark out. Uh, the very last one, and I, this is very, very last for a reason because it's I like it, but I don't like it. Um, I like it because I like it, <laughs> but I don't like it because it smells so similar to everything else. It's the Blue de Chanel. And a lot of people are big fans of this. A lot of people love it. I'm just not big on it. Um, I don't know. I mean, it just, it does smell manly. It's got a similar smell to that um, La Nuit De La Home um, by YSL that I do like. But I don't know. It's a lot lighter. It's just not as strong. I do like this cap because it's magnetic. And that's pretty cool. Um, I think I picked this up for him. He requested. He wanted it. And... It does smell okay, um, but it's just not anything that really grabs me. Like, if I smell this on a man, I wouldn't be like, ooh, what are you wearing? I would just be like, oh, he smells good. But it's not anything that really, like, 
really sparks my interest. So it's nice, but it's just kind of, you know, your average, again, run of the mill cologne. Nothing with a smell that really grabs me. I like different smells. And these all kind of smell the same, except for this. This is a little too different for me, the, the muglers, as I like to call them. Um, but yeah. So that's my five least favorite colognes on a man. Um, again, I don't expect people to agree with me. There's going to be a lot of people that like some of these a lot and that um, they're some of their favorites, and that's fine. Everybody's allowed to have their own opinions and everything. Um, but, you know, if you ask me, these are just smells I'm not big on on a man. Um, most of his colognes I really like. These are just the few, and I mean, I really had to think about it. I mean, I really had to be like, oh, I really had to pick out some that I didn't like and it was hard because I like most of them. These are about the only ones that I just really not big on. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you guys have any more fragrance related videos you'd like me to do, please um, leave them down in the comments too and I'll go ahead and do them. You guys love them so keep them coming. And thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think. Um, do you not like some of these as well? Or are these your favorites? Let me know what you think below. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.